Hello, Internet! So nice to see you. Some time ago, a student asked me how to use their concentration power for practicing. What does it mean? Well, again, we are limited in our concentration power. We are limited in the amount of concentration we can put into a practice session. It may have happened to you that you start practicing and you're super concentrated. And then after a while, your mind wanders off and you start noodling on your guitar and you're not really practicing anymore. You're just noodling. And there's nothing bad about noodling, but it's not practicing. And you get much better if you practice instead of noodling. So, we, we were doing, in a, in a past video, I was talking about this and saying that you have two solutions. The first one is to make the most of what you have, and that was the previous video, which we link on the top right. And the second solution was learn how you can increase your concentration power, how to become a concentration monster, so you can stay perfectly concentrated for a long amount of time, like a laser. How do you do that? How do you reach zen-level concentration for practicing guitar? How do you up your inner game of music so that you can do whatever you want with this instrument? Well, here's how. A student of mine asked me how to increase their concentration power when they practice, and this is my answer. So I want to talk about focus, and specifically how do I improve my ability to focus in general? Very good. So, you previously asked a question about how, what to do with your current level of concentration power. I'm mm -hmm. not saying that word. Okay. Now we are talking about instead how to increase that capacity. Okay. That is more than one trick you can use. What you, what you see when people have a low concentration power or when they try to concentrate for too long anyway, there are several tricks that you can use to increase your concentration power. What you notice when people are either having a low concentration power or they're trying to concentrate for inordinate long amount of times is that at a certain point their mind wanders around and they do something else. I'm saying something completely obvious, but it's important to know that this happens. So up to a certain point, you're concentrating, and then you lose track. And if you try again, up to a certain point, you're concentrating, and then you lose track. OK, that's normal. That's actually a defense mechanism in your mind. You don't want to concentrate on a single thing for too long. You always want to be aware of your surroundings, so your mind at a certain point goes like, OK, that was enough on this little detail. Let's check if there are tigers around, OK? Because your mind is still thinking about that, OK? But we can overcome that. OK, so here's the trick. You're going to get a timer. I already okay. got one. Great. But you're going to get a special kind of timer. Mm -hmm. you, sometimes you can find these in software on, on phones or other things. But I like to have a physical one. You're going to get a gym timer. The gym timers have something special that they keep repeating the same interval of time. So they can ding every five minutes, or they can ding every 10 minutes, or they can ding every minute you start by setting it on one minute. OK. Turn on the timer, start practicing. Whenever the timer goes ding, you remind yourself that you need to practice, and you concentrate again. OK? It's like a check. Did you wander yet? Are you still here? Did you get distracted yet? No, come back, come back, OK? So like forcefully, essentially, every time it goes ding, you forcefully take your attention back to the instrument and what you're doing. So it's a way to reset your focus. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because the only thing you need is a reminder. But if your mind is losing concentration, you cannot rely on your mind to be the reminder. So you have this kind of external forcing telling you, no, concentrate again. OK? You do this for a while, then you try it with a minute and a half, then two minutes, then more. OK? But I find that. I never go beyond the minute. <laughs> I, keep, I mean, I notice that I'm way more efficient if I keep it on the minute, OK? Because it's like it starts to fade away, and you kind of slow down, and you don't even realize you're doing it. And the, the thing dings, and you're like, no, wait, wait, <laughs> be back here. It's, it's a strange feeling. It works really well, OK? Mm -hmm. Kind of a mental hack. It's simple. And really, there's not nothing much else to say, <laughs> actually. What okay. if I am using that and I still fade out? Very quickly. Are you using that? Yes. Every minute? Not every time I practice, but I'm getting better at using it. OK. Shorten time. Make it 30 seconds. Five seconds. 
you want you get distracted every five seconds? I mean, so seriously, you get distracted every five seconds or no? Okay. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's, um, I'm not an expert. Maybe somebody with ADHD gets distracted literally every five <laughs> seconds. So it could be a problem. Um, try 30 seconds, try 20 seconds, okay? The other thing is you don't want to do this for hours and hours and hours. We talked previously about doing micro practices, okay? So you do your five or 10 minutes of micro practice. And in this time period, you have this the timer dinging every 30 seconds, say, okay? The idea is not, again, it's not to push too much because it's counterproductive. You want to do this, but at the end of the session, you don't want to feel like you exhausted completely your attention capability, okay? Because if you exhaust it completely, then it's much harder the next time to do it again because you know it's gonna feel bad, okay? It's kind of like when you work out. If you train to complete exhaustion, it's hard then to come back and train the next time. Some people say that there are benefits to training to complete exhaustion because you deplete completely something in your muscles and they grow better later. And that's totally true, no problem, it's meaning. But motivational, moti motivation speaking, okay, it feels horrible. <laughs> the next time you go to the gym, you're like, no, I don't want to do this again. You just find all the excuses possible to not go back to the gym, to not do the specific exercise, to not train to exhaustion again. So you don't want to put yourself in this situation, okay? You can train your concentration power by not training it to exhaustion, but just trying to push a little bit for five, 10 minutes, okay? It gets better with training. It does take a little bit of time. I would not expect to see big results in a week or two. But maybe in a month, you should start to, s to feel a difference. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good. And that's it. Yeah. One thing, because you need only one for this one. Thank you, Nicholas. Thank you.